Welcome to Cape Cod Healthcare Cancer Services. In the next few minutes, you will learn about the services, care team, and resources available to you and what you can expect during your time with us. This educational video has been made possible thanks to our community-supported education fund, Alice's Classroom. Welcome to the Davenport Mugar Cancer Center located in Hyannis and the Clark Cancer Center located in Falmouth. These facilities, as part of the Cape Cod Regional Cancer Network, bring together a team of specialists working collaboratively to deliver an exciting array of treatment options to our patients. We work closely with Cape Cod healthcare specialists in surgery, pathology, and rehabilitation to develop and execute a care plan designed to meet your specific needs. In Hyannis, our cancer center provides medical oncology, hematology, and radiation oncology services. In addition, specialists from the Dana-Farber Cancer Institute and Massachusetts General Hospital are available for second opinion consultations. In Falmouth, our Clark Cancer Center provides radiation oncology services. Take a few minutes to watch this video and find out more about your care. In the upcoming slides, you will find information on how to prepare for your first visit with us, what to expect while you're here, who you might meet from our care team, the types of support services and survivorship care services available to you, your physicians and nurse practitioners, clinical trials, types of treatment, palliative care, and the CAPE Wellness Collaborative. Once you make your appointment, our team works together to be ready for you when you arrive. We want you to know what to do to be prepared as well. You will receive an appointment reminder in the mail, and we'll also call you to confirm your appointment a few days prior. We will ask you to arrive 15 to 30 minutes prior to your appointment to allow time to meet with the team members and prepare for your visit. If you need transportation assistance, we have resources available to you, including free options through Lyft as well as the American Cancer Society. Please bring the following items with you to your appointment. A picture ID and insurance cards, a list of all current medications, copies of advanced directives or healthcare proxy documents if you have them, if you do not have one, we are happy to assist you as part of Cape Cod Healthcare's Quality of Life Initiative. For your comfort and convenience, Cape Cod Hospital offers free valet parking at the Davenport Mugar Cancer Center entrance. Services are available Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Pull right up to the front door and our friendly staff will take your car and park it for you. It will be returned to you when you call for it. Your car is available 24 hours a day. Valet parked cars will be available after 4 p.m. and on weekends by contacting the information desk or security. This is a free service. No tipping is needed. The hospital pays for this service as a convenience to those who need it. Reserved parking is available at our Clark Cancer Center. When you arrive for your appointment, a member of our Cancer Center scheduling team will greet you, complete needed forms, and check you in for your visit. A nurse or a medical assistant will collect additional information and prepare you for your visit with the doctor. The doctor will discuss potential options for treatment, which may include chemotherapy, immunotherapy and hormonal therapy, radiation therapy and radiosurgery. Potential oncology clinical trials also may be discussed. Your total time with us at your initial visit could take up to 90 minutes. I'd like to introduce you to your care team. The physicians at the Davenport Mugar Cancer Center and Clark Cancer Center are all board certified in medical oncology, hematology, or radiation oncology, and experienced in treatment of all forms of adult cancer and hematologic conditions. They have access to the latest technology to deliver cutting edge cancer treatment. In order to meet your needs and see you in a timely manner, our physicians work with nurse practitioners who will help manage side effects and complications of treatment provide health education and instruction to patients and families. Your oncologist works with experienced oncology nurses. These nurses have been specially trained to care for patients receiving medical and radiation oncology and hematologic treatment. They will provide support and education from initiation of treatment through post-treatment care and follow-up, helping you navigate the complexities of your care. Our medical assistants will gather you from the waiting room and collect your vital signs and medication lists, preparing you for your appointment with the doctor. Oncology pharmacists are specially trained in all aspects of chemotherapy and immunotherapy infused medications and oral cancer treatments. 
Radiation is administered by experienced state-certified therapists who are specifically trained in patient care and the administration of therapeutic radiation. They will see you on a daily basis through your treatment. They are your best resource to contact if you have any issues with your treatment schedule. Our front office staff will schedule your appointments and greet you when you arrive. Each person undergoing cancer care has unique challenges and concerns. Our expert support staff can offer counseling, referrals, and specialized assistance in the following areas. Dietary and nutrition support is designed to provide patients with education and counseling about healthy nutrition, as well as to ensure patients have resources to obtain nutritionally appropriate foods. Social worker services can help you and your family with the emotional and psychological needs that you may have as you continue through all the phases of a cancer diagnosis and treatment. An oncology social worker can provide you with counseling and other support services, which can help reduce stress and anxiety. Financial navigators review your insurance coverage and ensure that needed prior authorizations are in place. They communicate any insurance issues with you and your care team and help identify resources available to ease the financial burden of cancer care. Oncology rehabilitation is available and can be helpful to patients who are preparing for treatment, undergoing treatment, or who have completed treatment. Livestrong at the YMCA Cape Cod is a free 12-week program for cancer survivors. This specially designed program delivered by trained staff in a small group setting will help survivors regain strength, overcome fatigue, and increase flexibility. Our YMCA is committed to serving individuals and their families living with, through, and beyond cancer. They create a safe environment where survivors can participate in physical and social activities that address their unique wants, needs, and interests. For patients with a diagnosis of head and neck cancer, both the disease and treatment can result in changes to your ability to speak and swallow foods and liquids. We have a team of licensed speech-language pathologists who can assist you with an evaluation and proper course of exercise and treatment to help you on the road to recovery. Your medical oncology care team includes Drs. Jacqueline Flanagan, David Lovett, Edward Wailuda, Peter Ward, and Thomas Openshaw. Your care team also includes nurse practitioners Kathleen Dietz-Lovett, Hannah Mozelski, and Patrice O'Sullivan. Your radiation oncology care team includes Dr. Daniel Canaday, Jeffrey Martin, Baja Mackinac, and Molly Sullivan. Your care team also includes nurse practitioner Ann Palquin. Research through clinical trials is a scientific and systematic way to look at the outcomes of a particular treatment, device, or other process to see how well it works. Clinical trials are studies that involve people that are highly regulated to ensure that the rights and welfare of people participating in trials is protected and monitored. Through clinical trials, doctors find new ways to improve treatments and the quality of life for people with disease. They test new ways to treat cancer, find and diagnose cancer, prevent cancer, and to manage symptoms of cancer and side effects from its treatment. Participation in a clinical trial is voluntary. Like all treatment options, clinical trials have possible benefits and risks. By looking closely at all options, including clinical trials, you are taking an active role in creating a treatment plan that works for you. It's a myth that they are only for people who have advanced cancer that is not responding to treatment. Trials are available for all stages of cancer. For a list of clinical trials open to Cape Cod Healthcare patients, please visit our website. Cancer occurs when some cells within the body begin to divide in an abnormal way that is uncontrolled and can spread into surrounding tissue. Chemotherapy and immunotherapy are used to treat cancer by destroying cancer cells, stopping cancer cells from spreading, slowing the growth of cancer cells, shrinking tumors so that surgery is more effective, or palliating or relieving symptoms such as pain caused by the cancer. Chemotherapy drugs directly attack cancer cells. Immunotherapy uses substances from living organisms to treat cancer. They work with our immune system to help the body fight cancer or attack specific cancer cells to keep them from growing. Your doctor will create an individualized treatment plan based on the type and site of your cancer and on your specific needs. In addition to chemotherapy and or biotherapy, this plan may also include surgery and radiation therapy. Chemotherapy and immunotherapy can be given through a vein, orally as a pill, under the skin, or as a cream rubbed into the skin. 
You may also receive pre-medications that will help manage some of the side effects of therapy. Some chemotherapy can be given over a short time, while other prescribed courses of treatment may require several hours. We do everything we can to make your stay comfortable. Feel free to watch TV, bring a book, or borrow one from our reading table, or take a nap. Wi-Fi access is available if you want to bring your portable device. Meals and snacks are also available. An adult friend or relative may sit with you if you desire. Since some people are very sensitive to odors, please refrain from wearing perfumes or cologne. And please avoid cell phone conversations, which can be disruptive to others. As part of your plan, you may meet with a radiation oncologist to discuss the potential role of radiation treatment in your care. There are several ways of delivering radiation in the treatment of cancer, and your doctor will review which type is most appropriate for your condition. The majority of patients receive a type of treatment referred to generically as external beam radiation treatment. Treatment is given on a specialized x-ray machine called a linear accelerator. This treatment is usually given on a daily basis, Monday through Friday. The treatments last about 10 minutes each, are painless, and the number of treatments varies depending on your circumstances. They can range from one day up to several weeks in duration. The potential side effects of radiation therapy depend on the part of the body that is being treated, and your doctor or nurse will discuss this in great detail with you. There are four types. Intensity modulated radiation therapy is a specific way of delivering radiation that allows your doctor to focus your treatment on tumors that are adjacent to critical body structures such as the brain, spinal cord, or pelvic organs. It is not needed in all cases and is commonly used in head and neck cancers and some brain tumors. Image-guided radiation therapy refers to the techniques we use to ensure the accuracy of your daily treatments. This includes using tracking systems to monitor your breathing during treatment, onboard diagnostic imaging systems that can x-ray pictures of your tumor on a regular basis, and markers that are sometimes placed inside of a tumor prior to treatment so that we can monitor tumor movement from day to day. Superficial radiation therapy is used for skin cancers. We use a dedicated machine designed to deliver radiation treatment just to the surface of the skin. Stereotactic radiosurgery is used for small, solitary tumors in the brain, lung, and spine. It allows us to deliver a very high dose of radiation to a small volume, usually in a single treatment. Internal radiation therapy, or brachytherapy, is an alternative form of radiation therapy that involves placing a radioactive source either into or right next to a tumor. There are several techniques we employ. In prostate seed implantation, radioactive seeds can be placed directly into the prostate to eradicate some forms of prostate cancer. This procedure is done in the operating room and involves the use of a needle to deposit permanent radioactive seeds throughout the prostate gland. This is done under anesthesia, but patients are able to go home after the procedure. The seeds give off a very weak form of radiation for several months until the radiation eventually disappears, leaving inert seeds in the prostate. High-dose rate brachytherapy involves a temporary radioactive implant that is done in the radiation oncology department and used for some types of gynecologic and breast cancers. A plastic applicator is temporarily placed next to the tumor. A radioactive source is introduced into the applicator to deliver a concentrated dose of radiation for 5 to 10 minutes. There is no sedation during the treatment, and this is often done over the course of 3 to 5 outpatient visits. Radiopharmaceuticals are used in special circumstances where a radioactive injection may be used to fight your cancer. This is a one-time administration that is given to fight certain types of bone metastases and lymphomas. It is given by intravenous injection over several minutes and you go home afterward while the treatment works over the next several weeks. You will receive additional detailed information about your specific cancer and the type of therapy that is right for you. Our goal is your comfort and care during this process. Palliative care is specialized medical care for people living with a serious illness. This type of care is focused on providing relief from the symptoms and stress of the illness. The goal is to improve quality of life for both the patient and the family. Palliative care is based on the needs of the patient, not on the patient's prognosis. 
It is appropriate at any age and any stage in a serious illness, and it can be provided along with curative treatment. Palliative care includes a comprehensive assessment and a patient-centered plan of care that addresses all of the patient's needs with the ultimate goal being optimal disease management and quality of life. Palliative care is provided by a specially trained team of doctors, nurses, and specialists who work with your cancer care team to provide an extra layer of support. Cape Wellness Collaborative serves people on the Cape and Islands with a cancer diagnosis who are currently undergoing or recovering from cancer treatments such as surgery, radiation, and or chemotherapy. By applying for services with the Cape Wellness Collaborative, you may receive a Cape Wellness gift card which can be used with any of Cape Wellness Collaborative's participating practitioners. They offer integrative therapies for anyone on the Cape and Islands facing cancer and they include acupuncture, art and music therapy, caregiver support, chiropractic, cranial sacral therapy, energy work and Reiki, massage and reflexology, meditation, nutrition, Pilates, and yoga. Many thanks to our community-supported fund, Alice's Classroom, for their support in providing education for cancer patients here at Cape Cod Healthcare. For more information, please visit us at capecodhealth.org.